CKS learning series point of view the fourth topic is minimize the use of access to GUI so what exactly it means so if you look at the uh, CKS exam right training.linuxfoundation.org here under the cluster setup there is a point called minimize the use of access to GUI so what exactly it means is if you look at the Kubernetes right uh, we have a dashboard uh, which can be installed by using a simple deployment and service where basically this dashboard is gives an exposure to see the nodes and manage run the pod and everything you can do whatever you do with the kubectl it's a nice gui you can see the parts you can kill you can debug and you can you can go to the any namespace and all these things you can do by using a gui so today's topic is basically as uh, this topic is saying minimize the use of access to gui element so if you want to access the gui you have a two different ways one is a cube config and other one is a token i will show you in the demo means this in order to access this gui you have you have a two different ways one is a cube config and a token which is nothing but a bearer token bearer token is basically you will create a service account and with that token or else cube config right so basically uh, here I have a two node Kubernetes cluster, right? And kubectl get namespace, and I have a, this namespace, and I have a dashboard is already installed. So kubectl get uh, all in Kubernetes dashboard. So dashboard is installed, metric server, and everything is installed. See, yeah, and if you look at this dashboard service is as a cluster IP, right? So I want to access. So if I wanted to access, there is a smart way, kubectl proxy what it does is basically it will directly it will redirect the cube api server to localhost 8001 if i copy this and go to the browser and yeah this is a my cube api server i can access locally right so we will go to the documentation this is a deploy and if you want to deploy just simply kubectl apply f and that's it and a kubectl so here there is a problem is basically if you look at here right i will open a new tab and let it run here right say kubectl uh, config view config view sorry cube config current context i am logged in as a kubernetes admin right say as a kubernetes admin so kubectl so we are running as a cube proxy and we are listening the api server on the 8001 port by using a browser here there is a problem if you navigate to the this url right i i clicked on this url and which is i mentioned in this documentation as well uh, so in this documentation under the section one cluster setup just scroll down here and you have everything here whatever the the commands i run this minimize use right i have a kubernetes dashboard so now for this dashboard it's asking me the either token or cube config so what i will use is i will use a token of my current user so i am running as an admin okay here in order to get the token and there is a command here right um, and which i put a hand here so just a sec I'll go to the command and just run this right and this is a token and I'll copy dashboard token and I will access here token and access right I will get access to the GUI here I can see everything right in the default namespace nothing say if I specify all I can see all parts service config map secrets I can do anything I can do so here that's what the this syllabus is saying you have to minimize access say i can go here pod and say i wanted to run uh say in the default namespace right say i wanted to run right app name equal to web container image is nginx then service equal to say internal or external or anything i don't want anything say if i run this then definitely automatically my web pod will be created i can go inside the pod this web pod and i can do anything and i can do any hacking or anything in this cluster so our target is to minimize the access right here my current context is as a kubernetes admin say kube 
config view right see if you look at here there is a only one cluster and i am connected as an admin right so as the admin i can go to the gui and i can do anything so we need to protect that's what the so how you protect so basically let's go to the slide here protecting is by using only way by using our back our back is what exactly it mean we are not supposed to give this kubernetes admin to everybody in your team or in the whoever the users of cluster right this will basically everybody have a admin permission mean they can do anything they can read the secret and this kind of secrets and they can do anything and access to the any right so here I have a Kubernetes cluster and what I will do is by using our back solution first I will create a service account some service account and I will create a one cluster role cluster role basically it's a global role with what permission only pod deployment services only that's it only pod deployment and services only get list watch that's it I don't want any other permissions to the one user i will create and i will create a cluster role binding cluster role binding means whole cluster level and i will map the cluster role binding with a service account and a cluster role and after creating this service account i will add the service account as a bearer token user so that next time whoever is connects he will have a very restricted permissions right so let's get into the demo now here uh here here so what i will do is i will stop this and then i will lose an access to the this dashboard right now what i will do is as uh, steps basically what we will do is first we will be creating a one service account so how, how to create a service account as this diagram says right now first in order to create a service account first keep ctl create service service account and what i will do is i am creating a service account called a simple user in the kube system namespace you can create anywhere but i am creating a service account now kube ctl describe service account simple user right so i have my service account is created and if you see kube ctl get secrets right uh, and hyphen and kube system right you will see a lot of secret but if you look at here simple user see simple user token so this is the kubectl get uh, describe let's minimize here right yeah kubectl describe secret simple user this secret simple user secret which is created along with the service account hyphen n cube system namespace right so this is a my bearer token for the simple user which i created now in the part i created this one now second is let's clear second is now i have to create a cluster role so what i will do is i will use an imperative command right so cube ctl create cluster role right and what is the cluster role name simple hyphen reader just i will give a simple reader name then what i will do is um, hyphen hyphen so here hyphen hyphen warb equal to i wanted to give hyphen hyphen warb equal to get list comma watch right say here in the ppt i am creating cluster or get wrist watch to the power deploy and services that's which one and hyphen hyphen to resources right resources i want to give it as a plot here plural we need to specify pods deployments i wanted to give a services and config maps as well just let's let's take an example for config map but i am not giving any access to secrets right and then i will press enter right oops resource sorry my bad resource only and if you don't want the if you don't know the command just keep ctl create cluster role and then after that just do the hyphen h here just hyphen h it will give all the examples as well so need not to bother about that so now we created the 
service account and cluster role with this permission now we will be creating a cluster role binding so all the commands are also available in the kubernetes documentation just go to the kubernetes and uh, there is a documentation commands kubectl create cluster role binding we are creating right this guy cluster role binding there is an example is given just go and modify now what i will do is i will now i will be creating a cluster role binding so in order to do that kubectl kubectl create cluster role binding and the name will be cluster simple reader right now i have to specify when i am creating a cluster role binding right then i have to attach the cluster role and service account so hyphen hyphen cluster role equal to what is the cluster role simple reader which is given and service account here two options go to the documentation right here user you can specify or service account but in our case it's a service account it's not a user right so hyphen hyphen service account equal to and my service account exist in this service account exist in the cube system namespace right so and how to specify that here it's given the namespace colon service account right yes, cube system colon and my service account name is simple hyphen user right so i will just press enter now my cluster role binding is created cube ctl describe cluster role binding which is newly i created right here see so which is mapping to cluster role which is simple reader and right now we have created everything if you look at the my cube config cube ctl get uh, config so kubectl config get context if you look at here only one context which is this and which is connecting to the kubernetes cluster which is a two node cluster and user is a admin authorization right i want to use the same kubernetes cluster but this authentication information as a simple user which has permissions of read only which is cluster rule basically right so if you we will double check simple reader yeah simple reader right oops sorry describe cluster role simple reader yes so we have we wanted to use a simple user which has a, these permissions only so now i have to create an authentication information in order to create an authentication information first of all i need to create a bearer token what is bearer token here if you look at the kubectl uh, kube config file right here you have a cluster we have a user this user is with the client certificate and client key data and there is another way to use as a bearer token how to use that kubectl first of all find the secret which is in the kube system namespace which is what we have seen is this is the one right so basically this is a secret and if you look at the uh, if you describe the secret right this is a bearer token this bearer token we need to put it in the kube config file where the as a token here how to put it here in a one command line where is a simple um, yeah first i need to get the its secret name this is a secret right so there is a command uh, this is a command basically right uh, secret name is simple user token and i will be just using the secret name is here and this secret is in located in the namespace called cube system namespace so hyphen n cube system right and then it will store the user token in this so i will enter right now echo dollar user token now my user token is got it so it sends with the vg cool so now the user token is created now uh, we need to get the cluster name so cluster cube ctl config config view cluster is the same cluster cluster name i can reuse as a kubernetes right so how to create a so we need to set it as a credentials right so here if you look at the kubectl cheat sheet so you need to set credentials by using this command so what i will do is q 
kubectl config set hyphen credentials and i wanted to set a credential for whom simple user right simple hyphen user and hyphen hyphen token what where is the token here and which is double quotes dollar and oops not this so i wanted to pause the this variable which is user token which we exported right now so the double quotes right so now it will create a credentials right simple user set now what we will do is we need to set the context right uh, so here kubectl config get context right so now credential with so uh, yeah um now kubectl config set context cluster name equal to what is the cluster name here kubernetes so, okay you be here in it yes so here user is simple user simply use right so now now kubectl config get context yes now a new context is created called a simple reader right and which is pointing to the user basically here if you look at the here this kube config will have a user which is pointing to the service account which is service account here and if you look at the say kubectl uh, config view which is kube config right here cluster is only one cluster context is one is admin context and user context so insists my local machine but in in the real world you will be using for the user so the simple user will have a token which is sent from the secret i took out right now i have a uh, so now i need to switch so cubes so i have a uh, utility called kubectx i have a two context so kubectx i wanted to switch to the simple reader now as a simple user i wanted to check kubectl get pods right i switch to the simple reader yes kubectl get uh, deployments yes i have access kubectl get service yes i have access kubectl get config maps yes also i have access because i have given kubectl get secret there is no permission why because if you remember in the cluster role i have defined services and config maps as well not secret so means as a simple reader which is nothing but simple user right service account which doesn't have access right so if you uh, as a simple yeah. user now i wanted to try accessing a dashboard that's what the today's topic minimize access to ui right so if you look at the documentation right so first we need to do the kubectl proxy so i will go here kubectl proxy right now my proxy is available so let's go localhost 8001 localhost 8001 yes it's what it's saying service account cannot get the path forbidden right and if you just try to access the of course it will block right here right it's a forbidden yes because your user which is simple user which i am using with along with the kube context right so which doesn't have a permissions that's what the is a today's topic and that's what the this topic is saying say if i can say kubectl get pod yes i have a pod kubectl get config map yes kubectl describe config map say uh, say get con describe config map and i wanted to this one error because describe permission also i haven't given i just given the only the few permissions as per the this one so in this way you can just create a minimize access to the your ui elements as a part of a kubernetes security so i hope this will give the make sense and uh, my basically demo will be useful for the your ck journey thank you for listening this series please let me know your feedback in the comments thank you